In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Ghost. Amen. Dear faithful, today we are Wednesday for the third week of Lent. And we read the Gospel of St. Matthew. At a time, the scribes and Pharisees came to Jesus from Jerusalem, saying, Why do thy disciples transgress the tradition of the ancients? For they wash not their hands when they eat bread. But he answering said to them, Why do you also transgress the commandment of God for your tradition? For God said, Honor thy father and mother. And he that shall curse father or mother, let him die the death. But you say, Whosoever shall say to father or mother, The gift whatsoever proceedeth from me shall profit thee, and he shall not honor his father or his mother. And you have made void the commandment of God for your tradition. Hypocrites, well had Isaiah prophesied of you, saying, These people honor me with their lips, but their heart is far from me. And in vain do they worship me, teaching doctrines and commandments of men. And having called together the multitudes unto him, he said to them, Hear ye and understand. Not that which goeth into the mouth defileth a man, but what cometh out of the mouth, this defileth a man. Then came his disciples and said to him, Dost thou know that the Pharisees, when they heard this word, were scandalized? But he answering said, Every plant which my heavenly Father had not planted shall be rooted up. Let them alone. They are blind and leaders of the blind. And if the the blind lead the blind, both fall into the pit. And Peter answering said to him, Expound to us this parable. But he said, Are you yet without understanding? Do you not understand that whatsoever entereth into the mouth goeth into the belly and is cast out into the privy. But the things which proceed out of the mouth come forth from the heart, and those things defile a man. For from the heart come forth evil thoughts, murders, adulteries, fornications, thefts, false testimonies, blasphemies. These are the things that defile a man. But to eat with unwashed hands doth not define man. Be faithful, the gospel is always full of wisdom and goodness. There are no words random. Everything has a signification. And today we see the Pharisees come and attack our Lord Jesus Christ through his disciples, and they ask, why do your disciples eat without washing their hands? It is against the tradition of the ancients. But what are these traditions? We know that there is the, the law, the law of Moses, and the law of the scripture, the Torah. But after the Torah, you've got also the Mishnah, the second law all these prescriptions of the rabbis. And more than the Torah and the Mishnah, they are not the Talmuds, nor yet other prescriptions. And in the time of our Lord Jesus Christ, it's a little bit difficult for us to understand and to realize the importance of these traditions. But these traditions were considered even greater than the law of God. And it is the reason why our Lord will react with such virulence, impetuosity. But first of all, let us 
read some words of Don Calmet, a very knowledgeable priest um, in the study of the Bible. He said, the Pharisees compare scripture with water and their traditions with a very excellent wine. Or the law for the rabbis is like salt, Mishnah like pepper, and the Talmud like precious spices. Or in their spirit, whosoever sins against Moses can be absolved, but whosoever sins against the doctors should be sentenced to death. Even one rabbi, Peshai, said if a, a doctor said that your right hand is your left hand, you should believe him. Or they said yet more that you should believe a prophet if he can prove that his mission is from God. But you should believe the doctors in any way, in any case. That was the spirit of the Jews and of the Pharisees at the time. Now, considering that, for them, a transgression against these traditions, prescriptions, was a very grave sin, even if it was a prescription of washing your hand. Now, I did a little research today with some very well-known commentators of the Bible, Piro and Clamer, who explained what was for the Jews that right of washing their hands. And it's very, very precise. Said the right consists of two separate ablutions, first water and second water. Any vessel can be used to pour the water, but the palm of the hand is prohibited. It was essential that water be poured on both hands at once. Or it could happen that it is on one hand and then on the other hand. But then be careful that the first hand, who is, which is now purified, touch the other hand, which is not yet purified, and then both hands are yet impure. The water that was poured must be pure and not have been used for any other purposes. The water that flowed from the hands was collected into a recipient or fall directly into the earth. In order for the ablution to produce its purity effect, care had to be taken to wet the hands to the wrist joint, and they insisted a lot that must be to the wrist, or there is no purification. But be careful that the water does not come on your arm because after it could come back to your hand and then it's impure again. Well, seems a bit crazy, isn't it? A tyranny is such a law. And when they do, did they need to wash the hands? Before the meal, after the meal, but between the dishes also. That was unbearable. And they give more credit to these traditions and prescriptions than to the commandments. And our Lord is scandalized. He said, is it possible? You don't follow the commandments of God. Take the fourth commandment, honor thy father and thy mother. No, you found a way, a trick, a trick, so that the money that you have and which you could use to help your mother and your father, if you give it as an offer to the temple, a sacred offer, then it is sacred and you cannot use it for your parents anymore. But it was a trick because it's like, I offer but I can still use it, but then I cannot use it for you. And then you let your mother or your father aside because of these prescriptions. That is against God. What is the most important? It is not what goes inside the mouth, but what goes outside, but because it shows what is the state of your heart. 
What are your intentions? It is from our heart that are coming murders, adulteries, impurities, thefts, false testimonies, blasphemies. Our Lord said, no, our religion is not a religion of hypocrites that are following prescriptions and laws without any good intention, any good spirit. It is not a way to love God as a father, to just follow prescriptions. Those who are doing so are blind, leading blind people. And what happens to them? They fall. They fall down. Yes, there are commandments in our religion. There are prescriptions in the Catholic Church, but these are not tyranny. It is not tyranny. It is to help us like the rules on the road to avoid any accident, to stay on the road, to help us to be better, to be holier, to be close to God, to love him and our neighbor. That is the rule of the prescriptions, of the commandments, and not to follow the commandments like they were God. Now that we are home and we have time, let us meditate on these words of our Lord and be always more and more pure in our intentions, in our heart, in what we say, in what we do. And let us ask our Lord that he will protect us from this, from this hypocrisy, that he will protect us from the sin, and that he will also protect us in our body against any sickness from the coronavirus. Deliver us, O oh Lord. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Ghost. Amen. Tomorrow you can follow the Holy Mass on our channel at 7.30 a.m. The Adoration of the Blessed Sacrament at 5 p.m. and a small predication around 6.50 p.m. on the Feast of St. Joseph tomorrow. I wish you good evening.